this is 12 to 12. Yeah, your show, my show, our show. The only show that talks about everything in entertainment and in between. Yeah, my name remains Justice, the guru at Igogo. Our guest today, Nollywood veteran and actor's actor, who after a long time in the business, understands the health challenge with actor and is going to fill it up. He has an idea of how actors should move, live longer and enjoy their wealth. He'll be coming here. His name is Sam Obiakeme. And of course, all our usual segment. Sit tight, enjoy. 12 to 12. With me, we'll be right back. <laughs> Sun, being good at something requires strength. It requires putting in more. That's why the new improved Bond Vita is packed with vitality and a richer, creamier taste. Unlimited LA is on Lali Wari, the Nigerian music video director. His career in directing started as an apprentice, likely in 2005 and fully in 2008, under the wings of DJT. He was born and raised in Lagos. He has a degree in computer science from the University of Lagos. Some of them never know me. Some of them them don't know me. Some of them keep for me. Every time the people don't sing. Some of them wanna win for me. Some of them boogie down for me. They love the way the ladies will win for me. Everybody now, like a everybody. Now. I like the way you do it. Though. I did just say. Yeah. 
King Sunday at Deni Adekeye MFR. Born 22 September 1946. Professionally known as King Sunny Ade is a Nigerian juju singer, songwriter, multi instrumentalist. He is regarded as one of the first African pop musicians to gain international success. <laughs> and has been called one of the most influential musicians of all time. Ebenezer Obi, otherwise known as Ebenezer Remile Kwaremu Olashubo Obi Fabi, nicknamed the Chief Commander, is a Nigerian Fuji musician. He's a man that was known for his lyrics, his songs, and his beautiful conscious effort at weaving African mythology in song. Welcome back, yeah, welcome back. I told you before, we do have a great man, actor's actor, executive, politically sound, and sometime recently, trying to get involved with the healthy side of the show business, trying to make sure actors live <laughs> longer than necessary. But simply put, Sam Obiakame has been around. And he's been on corporately as an actor around for a long time. So, Sam, you're welcome on 12 to 12. Yeah, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How is Nollywood treating you? Mm, well, bless God. Um, Nollywood, Nollywood treating me. Or how are you treating, treating Nollywood? Nollywood. <laughs> Nollywood treating me would be the best question. <laughs> Nollywood has just been fair. Just been fair. Yeah. How's it been for you? How's the journey? How did your journey start with Nollywood? Yes, talking about how the journey started, I think I will have to mention the likes of um, Zebe Giro, please. Permit yeah. me. You know? Well, certainly. Uh, the truth is that um, we had the soap, sometimes called Ripples. Yeah. I had a very good job there in Papa, and um, we had no cast. We were one of those, again, too, you know, that were sucked in. <laughs> so, you know, like, um, my friend, please come and help me do just one bit in this thing. No, nothing, no. We'll just come, play the crowd scene. Later, I became one of the henchmen with Talaba Bars. <laughs> and uh, when I started working, I saw you in the television. I started saying, ah, man, I'm becoming better. Can you imagine? <laughs> Just that small thing we did yesterday. Look at the whole thing. After, before then, and um, actually, the industry started with us. With us, when I say with us, I mean we from that area. 
the special area where you have talents. <laughs> because we had the Zebi Jiru, we had Opa Williams, we have Chiku, and everybody were just like that and they are with me. So it's like you are going to your water side where you have a lot of fishermen that are your brothers. You Imagine what hungry. you take home. Yeah, you know? exactly. So um, one day I paid a visit to Opa Williams' office, sometime in Old Ojo Road. When I got there, I saw a crowd. What is happening here? They said they are doing audition. Actually, I don't know anything called audition. <laughs> And I just dropped a note with the secretary saying, give to Opa Williams that I want to see him. When I got to Opa Williams' office, Opa Williams just behaved like a tigugu. He started healing me. <laughs> he was just telling people, look at the man we are looking for. This is the man that will play. What is happening? He said, please, write his name. I sat down. I was like, what is going on? That was when we now had this female that brought in him. This girl, Opa and When the sun set. God bless you. Yeah. You know? So when we now got there, we got to the set. My son, one of my very good friends, we call him Lucky, Jeta Bujo, we were to play one I'm part. Sure I went for the audition. Yeah. We were there. And um, in fact, to be honest with you, the very first time I faced the camera properly was in that movie. And I was sweating previously. In fact, <laughs> they had to cut continuously to allow me to just send my sweat. Because, you know, so continuously, you know, we started doing one other thing, doing this one, doing that one in the movie. To the extent that one day, my friend Zeb said I should manage the production. Fine. I actually landed on the job. Uh, we tell anybody out there that I didn't read theater arts. I read marketing. But um, I actually found love in the movie industry because it gives me satisfaction. And now it's, you have left marketing. Yeah. Now you read. Yeah. Now you are in love with the movie business that met you. Yeah, you know, so that is how it goes. And um, with time we started doing other jobs before we now come and we now delve into the politics of the industry. Yeah, I know you're on the board of AMP. <clears throat> yeah, Association of Movie Producers. I never liked politics naturally, but one day I told myself, I've been in this industry for a very long time. Let me try something. I want to contest. Uh, they said, oh boy, you will not win. I said, I will win, let's go. Then they said they should pay. I paid, and um, the election started. We were, among my set, I was the only person that had one vote for myself. Every other person in my set were removed. And um, I now joined one of the other um, the Rife One the case, um, Ampe administration, up till now. And we're still there. We're so, still there. So that means you will understand the problems producers go through. Mm, yes. And I'm sure yes. since you're on the board of AMP, you guys must be tinkering through solutions, I believe. No, we prefer solutions, but the solutions are not even there. <laughs> yeah, they're not even there. Why is, they are not there? This is something you must tell me. Yeah, why they are not even there? You see, the truth is that we have an industry and we don't have an industry. We have an industry that hasn't got the support of the government. You understand, compared to every clan, you know? And uh, this is an industry that is a very, it's a very rich industry. It's a money spinning industry. If we we decide to go into it properly, properly. forget about what we hear about Nollywood. It's just it's just gist that we are tired of it. But really, there's money there. But it's not easy to invest in the industry because one, there is no security. Your jobs are not secured, and you are not sure of putting money into it and getting some returns. And the banks cannot even, you cannot even defend the proposal before a bank. How do you tell a bank that you bring his money, their money back <laughs> when they borrow you 10 million? <laughs> so, yes, but the money will come, but you don't know how to explain it. <laughs> you understand? You don't know. I, I, the way you said it now, I, I almost wanted to laugh off my seat. Sorry. And I'll tell you why. Mm. We have to defend for the banks. We have been in this country. Banks have been failing. Fine. Banks who have structures have been failing. As we speak, one bank has failed and it's got possible. sucked by another bank. It's possible. And yet, we look at these bankers as if they know what they are doing. If the banks are failing that have structure, and Nollywood, seamlessly, no structure, right. is succeeding, to the point whereby globally 
we are number two or number three. Yes, you're right. And these banks are the ones that are going to tell us, tell you what to do. That is it. It's not possible. They are banks. Do you know how many banks <clears throat> have failed? Okay. How many banks that will fail? You know, we had a, a sorry, no, we, no, had, no. we had a meeting recently with a particular bank. Bank, yeah. And they were, they, like, they were telling us, they were giving us conditions on how we should manage the loan they will give to us. And when they were coming up with this idea of even inviting us, they didn't even bring people in the industry to come and defend the industry. They invited outsiders. When we got there, it was like if they were embarrassed when they saw professionals that know more, more than them. They know, I keep yeah. saying, telling people, I, I think we give these uh, banks too much uh, respect. The government is still at fault. So. Yeah, because if the government is at fault, what about we? We give these bankers too much respect. They have run businesses that has failed time and time. These are not Nollywood business. They are not. They have run oil companies that have failed. They have run uh, Boro Boro uh, import import <laughs> that have failed. Their own bank themselves fails. Yes. I, I, and they I, have the, the temerity to talk to you and no, you will listen. I will still explain to you. Sometimes there are certain things an adult does in the public that they will tell you you would have known. When they say you would have known this, it's an insult to an elderly man. When you do certain things, say, oh, God, you would have known this now. It means that you are stupid. So I'm not trying to say that we are, but there are certain things that we should tidy up. Tidy right? up. Because one, I, there, there is this Mopicon thing we're talking about all this while. Mopicon, you must have heard I know, of it. I know about Mopicon. And uh, I felt there is need for us to start with the government. The banks are just by the side. And um, the film production business is not a, a granola selling business. At all. You understand? Even our content, a lot, a, a, the content of our movie is enough as a collateral. The content. Because one, you cannot tell the value of a film. You can't. Because the, it's, 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 the, 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 the sales, the sales you make out of a film... It's more than cash. It's more than cash. I mean, what Nollywood so, has given to Nigeria, you can't, you can't call it cash. It's not it's cash. It's more than cash. No PR firm in the world can give that to Nollywood. Yes. Based on that, we'll come back. Uh, viewers at home, <laughs> families, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Justice, Justice the Guru Atiku. And of course, Sam Obiakeme, speaking on all cylinders for Nollywood. <laughs>12 to 12. Yeah. Are you just entering your house? Sit tight. It's still 12 to 12. You have missed a bit, but so much more. Veteran actor Samu Biakeme is here. And now he'll be telling us about his healthy idea that he has. So, Sam, this is your yeah. idea. Yeah, that that actually, act, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I, I discovered that um, apart from the money thing that we are, is a challenging industry, we still have health problems. And um, some of us, we are too shy to tell our financial situation when we are sick. We can't even go to the doctors because there's no money. Yes, we are, it's, a glamour, it's, a, it's a glamorous industry, but the money is not there sometimes. So I feel there's need for us to now call the corporate world to come. Let's sit down, talk to us. Let's do a small program that can bring everybody together. We do it out of sports. I call it... Nollywood Stars Health Work. We, we, we decided to come up with the idea of Nollywood Stars Health Work because we feel you can walk and talk and talk something even reasonable that can make you healthier and wealthier. So that is the idea. And uh, when we came up with this thing, we felt there's need for us to partner with somebody. And who is this person we want to partner with? We said, no, we don't have to partner. Let's collaborate with the local government. 
and the local government we are collaborating with in this particular program is the Suleri local government. Yes, Suleri is the entertainment hub of Nigeria and is the birthplace of Nollywood. And if we must do anything, let it be in Suleri so that we'll start from here. So we are having this program very soon. We'll keep you informed of the particular date, but it's just this year. Thank you. And this stuff you want to do now, will it take you away from your acting job? Oh. No. No, it's, it's just an event. I, <laughs> I, I, I run a company, <laughs> and um, we, we have to do certain because things. Because I know that happen. this is not a small project. No, it's not a small it project. It will take you time and money. Anyhow yeah, you look at will, it. It will. And I'm sure at the end of the day, Nollywood people that will get involved will be the better for it. Because really, we just have to stay healthy. That we we just like have, it to, have to. So Sam, great time talking to you. Yeah, to have to I talk. appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. This is Sam Obiakome, Nollywood veteran, here on 12 to 12. My name, of course, remains Justice, the guru at Tigogo. God bless you. Real good. Woo! <laughs>